Hi, I'm Paul. This is my son, Max. And today we're going to show you how to use the Cord Identification Method Trainer. So uh, this is a, uh, a little web app I developed um, to help you uh, implement this, uh, this Cord Identification Method from this school in Japan. Um, I make no claims as to how good it is at giving you perfect pitch in the long run, but uh, so far it seems to be working pretty well for Max. Um, so if you click this info button, there's uh, information about how to use it and uh, a link to the to the paper um, as well as a link to this video. Um, so uh, one thing that um, you'll want to do, especially if you have more than one person doing it, is create a profile. You don't have to create a profile, but um, when you have more than one person doing it, um, the Core Trainer can learn which uh, chords you get wrong more often, and it will uh, show that to you more often. And so uh, it's better to have separate profiles. So this is a fresh instance, we're, so we're going to add a profile for Max here. All right, so we're going to write M, A, X. And what do you want to be, buddy? Do you want to be the truck, the, the paw print, soccer ball? Trophy. Trophy. That's because you're my little champion. Okay, Papa, so... Papa, help me! Oh no, you're trapped. I'm tired. Uh-huh. All right. So, now, uh, now that we've created a profile for Max, we are going... I'll show you how to use it. So... Hey, Papa, I'm on green, not red and yellow. Yeah. Max has been using this for a while. So, when you first get started, you're going to want to do the red and yellow. And the idea is that you're supposed to um, have the child identify about 25 chords five times a day four or five times a day uh, yeah I, and 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 when it turns green um you're done right or you can or you can go past 100 or you can go past 25 yeah so um what you do is you go through and you um you start doing the identifications what i've usually done in the past is I teach the, I start out by showing the child um, the chords. So I'll say something like, this is the yellow chord, and this is the red chord. Uh, and then maybe I'll repeat that a couple times, right? Yellow chord, red chord, yellow chord, red chord. And you pull that up by just clicking this little um, uh, music, music thing. Music mark. Yes, music mark in the corner. Um, so... Once you've got that established, now Max is gonna, probably going to get a perfect score here because he's been doing this for a while, but I want to show you what it looks like when you get a perfect score. So, ready, Max? Yeah. All right. Red. Mm And you can see the cat here is happy every time you get one right. See? And uh, when you get to 25, it turns green. If you if you didn't get a perfect score, they wouldn't both be green. So, um, and you can see that this cat is very happy. So now, Max has actually been on this for a long time. So we're going to switch him over to green. So he's identifying five different chords now. Do you want to try that, Max? Yeah. Uh-oh. All right, so he got one wrong. So now I'm going to say, that was the red chord, and I'll play it again for him. Buddy, don't restart it. He likes to restart it because he likes to get perfect scores, but you shouldn't yeah, restart I'm it. Yeah, I'm showing them how to restart it. Yeah, well, don't restart it. Okay, all right. All right. Now, Max, can you deliberately get a couple wrong? 
I want to show them what happens when they when you get them wrong, so you, they can see the kitty getting sad. Uh huh. See, now the kitty gets mad when you get lower. What what else? Give me another one that's wrong. Okay. And now he gets even sadder. I think the saddest he gets is is maybe below fifty percent. Um, did you say um to get more wrong? Uh, um, that's okay. Okay, so um, the other thing that I've added now is statistics. So if you pull up this little button, you press this little statistics button, you can see um, the backlog uh, where it says uh, how the child did and what what color they were doing it on. Um, so I think that's the that's the main part of the core trainer, and that's how you use it. Um, and of course, there's also uh, this guest profile, so you can always just switch to the guest profile. And you'll notice that the um, the profiles, uh, the 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 statistics are profile specific. Okay, so that is uh, how you do core trainer. Was there anything you wanted to tell the nice people? Um. So um um. When you do core trainer, um, after remember to restart it, and also remember, um, so um, to do it five times every day. Yeah. Oh, one other thing I might mention is so let's say we pull up Max's again, and we go to yellow. It remembers what you're on. So if you accidentally switch, um, if you accidentally switch to say green, and then you're like, oh no, I was halfway through with yellow. Don't worry, you can switch back to yellow and it'll just work. Um, and then, you know, you can reset that and it'll show up in your statistics. Okay, well, that's Core Trainer. Uh, hope you, uh, hope it helps some people get perfect pitch. Yeah, and, and, and you can get more than 25 and I love you. Bye. Okay. All right. All right.